Hello! So, yesterday I spent way too long trying to work out how to get C++ UE4 interface to be accessible via Blueprint because the documentation seems rather out of date uh, and for like UE4.16 and before basically. This is UE4.20, it's probably applicable to early versions if you're following documentation or wiki articles that aren't working, you can try this. It takes seconds. So, we're gonna go File, New, C++ Class, scroll down to the bottom, Unreal Interface, smash next. I'm going to call this Dank Interface. Uh, you can call this whatever you want. And create class. We'll wait for that to uh, compile and we'll open up Visual Studio and I'll show you what you got to do. I could edit this out, but frankly, I'm not going to. Um, so we come over here. We can see Dank Interface, C++, this uh, source file. Don't need to do anything in here don't even worry about it. We come over to our H file. Now, this is a piece of piss. If you want your function to be accessible as like a function in the interfaces panel in your blueprints, uh, it needs a return type just with a, a pure blueprint interface. Um, so we're gonna go give this a bool return type and we're gonna call this function yo and we're also gonna do a void so I can show you how that works and then event yo um, now we're going to mark these as blueprint implementable events, blueprint callable, and we can give it a category, tasty interface, whatever you want, um, any just like any U function. Um, that's all we need. We're going to go F7 and compile. <coughs> Once that does does its does its work, we'll jump back over to Unreal. There it is. And now we can see dank interface that we just added to our code. Go to this test actor, which is just an empty actor that I created earlier. Um, and if we go to class settings, you'll see that we can now add our dank interface to our blueprint. Hit compile just to make sure it's all updated. Um, we can see this function that I spelled wrong, apparently, uh, that we can add, add stuff to. So I'm going to call that via a message or, or whatever. Um, it can do whatever we want in there. Now in, in the event graph, we can also do event event yo. Um, and so this is what it looks like when you don't have a return type. It'll just show up as an event usable in the event graph. And that's how you do a simple C++ implementation for Blueprint. Uh, C++ interface implementation for Blueprint. You can do a lot more, but this is just how to get it up and running. Easy peasy. Good shit.